So the point of this little video is to look at how you can create a form which has a calendar control for a field like date of birth. I've got a little database about some students, I've already created a table, and I've got a field called date of birth. So I can create uh, a form. If I create a form, it'll do most of the work for me. And there we are, it's created a few things. I would need to modify the heading. Um, I might want to rearrange some of the field lengths. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to focus on the date of birth field. Uh, I need to be in design view, so I change the view to design view, select date of birth, and I come over to the uh, possible tools here. Uh, it's not always obvious where to find the additional controls, but it's the one with a little X that says Insert Active X Control. If I click on that, uh, then I get a long list of all sorts of interesting controls. One of them is simply called the Calendar Control version 12. So I'll go for that and say OK. And lo and behold, in pops a Calendar Control. It already knows that today happens to be the day it is. I'm recording this on the 12th of October. So it selects that date. I'm going to change my view back to Form View. And there we are, we've got a control. The story isn't quite over yet because I've got to connect that control, that calendar, to the field Date of Birth. So I'll go back into Design View and select the properties of my calendar control and the property I'm interested in is the data control source. And I should be able to select date of birth, which is the name of the field, not very efficiently named because it doesn't make it clear whose date of birth, except that this is a table of students, so it's in fact the student's date of birth. So I can connect date of birth to the calendar control. I can then go back to form view, scroll so that I can see what's going on, and at the moment there isn't a date of birth. Notice that at the end of that column, something's popped up here, which allows me to look at it that way, or I can use the calendar control that's over here. Uh, I'll use the calendar control that's over here, and I'll change the year, first of all. Um, my student is perhaps, um, let's say, about born in 1995, um, and we'll say it wasn't October, but May, and his birthday was the 11th of May. Now if I click in here, I see the 11th of May, 1995. And if I go forward to the next record, I can find somebody else born in the same year, but in a different month, and select their date of birth, and so on. And if I scroll backwards, uh, I do see that those dates of birth are still there. So they've been entered into the record for those first two students, and I can carry on editing any way I like. So to recap, the trick is to be in Design View and to look amongst the controls for the Active X control selection. Um, there's a whole long list, as I say, you can put in all sorts of interesting things. Um, feel free to play around with these, but if it's the calendar control you're after, uh, you just come down, find the calendar control, and it will insert a new calendar control, version 12, into your document. I can cancel that because I've already done it, and there we are. The next thing to do is just to save um, my form. At the moment it's called Tubble Students. I don't really want that um, because it's not a table, it's a form. So I'm going to change it to put Form Student Entry, which reminds me what sort of data I'm doing and what I'm doing with it. I'm entering student data. So there's my student entry form and I can close that and go back to my table. And just as an extra proof, the calendar has worked. Uh, there are the dates of birth for the first two students, Alan and Bill. That's the end.